Good afternoon, pro wrestling fans. Here is my WWE 50 Years book in the making. For forward by Vince Kenny McMahon Jr. himself. Yeah, you go take a look at this bad boy, guys. These are all the pay-per-view wallpapers throughout the years. Get a good glimpse of those guys. I'll do it up twice so you guys can see. Because there's so many that I don't want to go through them all. So there you go. That's all the cards. You guys can see it okay. Also came with a Shawn Michaels trading card, which is cool. Open the book, and it's like, wow, I got a Shawn Michaels here. So, this is this. Well, let's get it. Here we go, guys. This is where all the fun begins. So, let's have fun and enjoy the. This is the. Enjoy the show, guys, because this is something you're going to watch. You're probably going to really enjoy. I mean, this is signing it. There you go. Look at that. Knowledge is about the art there. There you go. Here we go, guys. In the beginning, Capital Wrestling. Today's WWE Global recognizes a respected leader in, in the entertainment industry. Headquarters in Stanford, Connecticut, the publicly traded traded company staffs more than 600 full-time employees in offices all over the world including New York, Los Angeles, Miami, London, Moonbrook, Shanghai, Singapore, Incessible, in Tokyo. In the beginning, however, WWE was simply a small regional promotion that focused all its efforts on promoting wrestling events in the Northeast, in Northeast United States. Wow. That's the headquarters. That's Vince's dad. Mm, that is Capital Wrestling Corp Capital Wrestling Corpor Corporation logo. Some old pictures here. Buddy Rogers, Nature Boy, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers, the heavyweight champion of the world. The NWA Championship, Pat O'Connor, and Nature Boy. Buddy Rogers. That's where I think Ric Flair stole that name. You know what's called Nature Boy? Well, Ric Flair was called the Nature Nature Boy. Ric Flair. It's Pat O'Connor. Some good. Oh, this, there's his dad again. Luthes. Now let's be from now. This is before my time, guys. So, the CWC wrestlers. There's Buddy Rogers. And that's a Skull Murphy. Great pictures, man. There's Eddie Graham. There's Dr. Jerry Graham. Arnold Skyland. That would be him right here. Fabulous King Ruse. Red Piston. Look at all these. Bruno San Martino, the Lewin brothers, be these guys. The worldwide, the early years, the 60s, way before my time. There's Bruno. Fact. The May 17, 1963 card at MSG attracted 19,639 fans and grossed 58966 and $10, nearly three times the dollar figure brought in by Rogers versus San Martino at the Chicago's Amphitheater in November 1961. That's a fact. Go the greatest attraction. Bruno San Martino was the greatest attraction at the time, though, around that year. Then they got old, and then we had to bring new talent in, which was Hulk Hogan. He was the top attraction guy, though, in wrestling. Everybody loved Bruno San Martino. Here's the match card of the, in the 60s for the matchups. 
Go ahead and check that out. The 70s, continuing evolution. There's Vince. Vince. Vince's dad. That's Vince's son. Bruno's back. Superstar is born. That's Billy Graham. The next, ne the boy next door, Bob Backlund. This, this, a sign of protest. Sends all the stuff, the facts about him. He's got the champion. Now this is the black version that the WWF went to do. This was the other one, right? That's what Greg Valentine was holding. And then they had that, which Ricky Steamboat holded it. Holded this one, which was really cool. He holded that belt. That's Then they made a yellow one after that, which they should show that here. And so now territories. Now see, these are everybody on the map here was stuff that Vince had to do. Now Vince right here was worldwide worldwide wrestling in New York, Vince and J. McMahon would be all this brown area. All this other stuff would be other promotions. You know? There was a lot of wrestling promotions guys everywhere in the U in the in America in the in worldwide in America, you know? St. Louis Wrestling Club and it tells you where it is. Where they were located. See? St. Louis Wrestling Club. Then at the Stampede Wrestling. Stu Hart. Right there. So there's a lot to learn about this, guys. National Expansion. Here we go. Expansion. The new business model. Gorilla Monsoon. Okay, see? Now there's Vince and his wife. These are all the little... Show that for you guys. There's a lot of, there's 260 pages if I'm correct. So I'm gonna try to go as, there's Ricky Steamboat. That would be Vince on TV on Tuesday Night Titans. <laughs> the pictures. Paul Orndorff. Merchandising. See, those are all the merchandises. Those, they, those were the big, that's when they were started getting into and they were big with those. With merchandise, with teddy bears, Hulk Hogan teddy bears and everything. That's when they started feeding with, there you go. McMahon vs. Turner round one. This is where, that's where it started getting interesting. There's Hulk Hogan. This is his career highlights. There's the title, which that's kind of fancy. Recalling Hulkamania. <laughs> but I said something. Here you go. Now we're going to WrestleMania now. Now we're going into the WrestleMania places now. Winner is born. There's Andre. That would be Stephen McMahon. There's the ref with the bow. Got some old pictures here, I think, from all the matches. There's Roddy Piper, Mr. T, Paul Undorf with Cowboy Bob Orton. Then there's Cowboy Bob Orton right there. There's Andre. See, you know what I'm Santina. Now we go into the eighties now. Don Morocco, Roddy Piper, Randy's. Randy Orton's um, father, Snuka. Going, this is when they were going mainstream. Now, Saturday Night's main event, 
Before Raw, Raw st came around in 1993, the first ever Raw, and Undertaker was on that. And they didn't have that at the time, though, so you would have to watch Saturday's main event because Raw was never even around. So they had that on the weekends. They go, Saturday's main event. Yeah. There's Shawn Michaels. Mega Powers. They didn't last long. They broke up and feud with each other after that. Pounding the pay per views. Just the artwork and pictures are just everything. They're just amazing to me. I go WrestleMania. All the match cards. If you guys are still watching the show, guys, go hit that like button. Also, support the Wrestling Talk Show by seeing more wrestling topics. And also, if you guys want to subscribe because you enjoy this, then thank you for tuning in to the show. I love you all, and I love the support. Canada. Go. You guys can always pause this if you want to and look at all of them. So they're going to the WrestleManias now. See, that's 90, 91, 92. Here we go. Now we're going to the new generation now. So Kogan, WCW, Nitro. Nitro, I love WCW Nitro. There we go. The NWO, Macho Man, and Scott Hall. There's Bret Hart. Superstars of the new generation. These were the 90s. This is when the 90s were starting and coming in with new superstars. Bret Hart and Diesel and Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. There you go, Lex Luger. The Undertaker, my favorite wrestler of all time. So everybody asks me, he's it's my favorite guy of all time. Look at these, Yokozuna. Bam Bam Bigelow. Go dust. There you go. There's Doink the Clown. One, two, three, kid. The clown. There we go. This is when Raw started. 1993. Where all this is where Raw came in. No more Saturday Night's main event. There you go. That's where ECW they had that's where ECW used to be. Yeah. Go to ECW. Did you know that the Grand Ballroom is located on the seventh floor of the Manhattan Center? Did not know that. There's Marty Jannetty. There's Paul Bear and the Undertaker, and that's who Undertaker would face. And Undertaker beat him by the Tombstone Power Driver. Yokozuna defeated Coco Beware. This is pretty cool, guys. You know, I'm really entertained by this stuff. I'm just, like, looking at all these. See, there's Stone Cold Steve Austin Raw entrance in 99. Look at that, man. How amazing. First Raw announced team. There's CM Punk, John Cena with both titles. That was in 2011, June 25th. That's in 2005. When John Cena came to Raw. Yeah, it goes back to the WrestleMania now, 93. Very interesting artworks. Tells you where it is and how many attended people. 19,444 people attended WrestleMania, that, that WrestleMania 94. Now this is cool. These are all Vince's stuff. Vince wrote down all the matches.
You wrote all these matches down. This is just something that, uh, that's something I can look back at now. Cause this is really cool. Just by looking at this. I like it, man. Vince would write down all the matches. You can see he wrote down the matches. Now it goes back to us and there we go 95 now in Hartford, Connecticut, which I have that on DVD. These were the match cards. These were the matches. Go and then we go to 13. 18,000, man. That's a lot of people. In 97. Now we go to 1998. WrestleMania 14. Was a good pay-per-view. He's the Undertaker. WrestleMania 15. Now we go to w, the Monday Night Wars. We'll all be the beginning of the Monday Night Wars. NWO. Monday Night Wars. Now these are the ra these are the little ratings. See how the how it goes up. How it tells you the years and stuff. Mhm. Mm this Sean Walkman. There's Sting, there's Bischoff. See, the ratings keep going. The ratings were going. Then the attitude era started. Then the women's champion, the belts. Stone Cold. The wedding. Going public. King of the Ring tournaments. He's all the years that were kings. Then SmackDown came around in 1999. Swent so Brock Lesnar suplex the big show. John Cena, Chain Gang, Dr. Thugonomics. Now we go to WrestleMania 2000 now. See, we go back to WrestleMania. Mm 